I should probably start out by uh, reminding everybody that this is kind of a special year for Shopsmith. We're in the uh, 75th year of uh, manufacturing, producing, building, and selling the Shopsmith. It all started back in 1946 with the 10ER. And over the years, it evolved into a 510 and a 520, uh, giving us the ability to uh, handle any size of material with its adjustable table system, improved guard system, dust collection, and fence. Now it evolved into the Power Pro 7, a remarkable machine with a smart motor and a touchpad screen. Over well, more than a dozen years of being out, there really hasn't been a whole lot of uh, changes to the original Power Pro uh, until recently, and uh, the introduction to the uh, Gen 2 control touch screen. Uh, remarkable, uh, way larger in screen size, uh, much, much brighter, uh, with a few other neat little features built in as well. I've done several videos on the uh, uh, touch screen. You might want to take a look at some of those. Uh, recently though, I had a customer ask me, really how smart is this smart motor? Uh, he was referring to the fact that if the uh, control pad sets a speed for a given operation, is that speed really uh, the proper speed? Is it, is it really accurate? So, best way to prove that and how accurate it is, is test it. I started out with the, uh, the uh, drill press using a two inch Forstner bit. Uh, the touch screen and smart motor set it at 300 RPM, which seems awfully slow, but uh, I set it drilled with it and it was dead on perfect uh, no sign of burn no kind of smoke uh, it was effortless by the way uh, so yes very very accurate so then I moved on into the uh, table saw uh, I was gonna do some uh, just general sawing in that same piece of oak it set it for 3550 again speed was dead on I mean, this was also an effortless cut that turned out to be really, really clean and really smooth. No saw blade marks, nothing. Uh, then I moved on into the router. There it set it at 8,500 RPM for the size of cutter I was using. It was a half inch uh, round over. Again, effortless. And again, no hint of a, uh, of a burn, not even a, a slight scorch, nothing. So with those three tools, those speeds were set Dead on perfect. Look at that cut right there. If you already have the uh, shops in Mark 5, 500, 510, 520, if you find yourself doing an awful lot of, uh, of shaping and routing, you can convert into a double tilter where you can have under table shaping and routing. If you're not doing a whole lot of it, just an occasional uh, routing or shaping operation, remember you can still do it overhead. I've done it for years overhead. Works great. Uh, don't forget too, some of the tools require a lot of torque like the jointer, the power pro's dead on, and the, the control pad will set your speeds for uh, uh, the proper thickness of the wood, just like on the other tools. So very, very useful. Uh, one other tool, and this is especially helpful for, for people new to lathe turning, I highly recommend you simply follow what the control pad sets for you. You don't have to worry about going too slow, you don't have to worry about going too fast. Those are uh, problems uh, new turners run into all the time. It'll set it for uh, your rounding speed. Uh, for this it was softwood, which a beginner should start with softwood, 990. You'll see how that looks here in a minute. Uh, you can then, after you got it rounded out, uh, it'll set your speed for, for smoothing it, shaping, it, actually decorating, using your beads and coves and what have you. 1230 RPM it says for uh, two to four inch thickness. Heck, the, the machine even sent your proper sanding speed. This is another one I thought was too fast, but it turned out to be perfect. Take a look at this here. So I'm gonna follow exactly what the speed chart said, 990 to round this two inch piece of pine out. When I was actually uh, smoothing and then shaping, decorating the, uh, the piece with my beads and coves. Uh, by following what the touchscreen set for me, 
uh, it looked like uh, it felt like uh, the speeds were dead on again this is important like I say again for the beginner if you want to get into late turning quickly and simply uh, just follow that screen I'll also add that uh, if you follow that screen you'll probably feel a lot safer starting out too and that's important as a beginning turner you want to feel safe if you're feeling safe you're going to do more of it as far as addressing uh, the question from the uh, customer does the uh, smart motor and the touch screen set the proper speeds it's an absolute yes it does give it a try it's great for now i'm mike young and this is today's shopsmith